Ready? What's up, y'all? I'm having a ball. You're watching Sofa King. This is MC Lars. I never fall. I stay joyful. All right, Sofa King Cool here with MC Lars. How you doing, man? Nice to meet you, buddy. How's the tour going so far? It's good. We're about halfway done. We the, Today's show was amazing. Um, I love upstate, western New York. I always come up here to play. I love the garbage plates. I love the culture. I love the friendliness. And I love how people all keep it real up here. You know what I mean? Right. It's dope. It's, it's, the, my hometown market is San Francisco, but this is my second favorite in the world. Oh, that's cool. Man. Just to be honest. <laughs> Very cool. Thank you. Now, I understand... Um, you got a push coming out, a new release, I think, what you say, September is what we're looking at? Yeah, it's called the Zombie Dinosaur LP, and uh, it's got songs with Cool Keith and Watsky and my friends from Less Than Jake and Leftover Crack and I Fight Dragons, and it's uh, I'm really proud of it. We're doing five videos. My, I have a song about the, the Triforce from Legend of Zelda. I have a song about Hans Molman from The Simpsons. We did a Game of Thrones song, so it's very pop culture and literary-based record. That's cool, man. That's real cool. Thanks, bro. No problem. I appreciate that. I like that uh, chain you got going on. There, Thanks, man. man. Much love. Love, man. Thank you. Very cool. Now, with it being pop culture, do you, do you go ahead and take inspiration when you're on the road or you sing different things? You're like, you know what? I gotta, I gotta go do a track about this shit right now. I mean, I think it's like important to find stuff that's topical and timeless. And I think to find pop culture things that resonate with the masses, like that's important because things, pop culture is pop culture for a reason. Sure, corporations can spoon feed people, but like I think Game of Thrones is so popular because it's very Shakespearean and people can relate to the whole mercurial nature of good and bad, you know? And um, the theme of my record is like the underdog triumphing. And that's right. how I kind of feel with my career. You know, it's, I've been doing this 12 years and it's a blessing to, I've seen bands come and go and I'm I'm still here, so. Dude, what do you think? The Beatles made at eight years, you know what I mean? Whoa! They were for 12. You know? That's funny. I hadn't thought about that. Yeah. That's, that's cool. This day and age, man, it's, people just don't want to keep on pushing the way they should, but with, with a career like yours, you'd be crazy not to keep on going. You, know? you gotta hustle. Sure. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be the sofa king. That's it. Junior, that's me. All right. <laughs> Definitely. That's cool. Are you going to keep on touring when this wraps up? Or are you going to do Yeah, I'm doing a headline tour. Where I'm going out with Cuckoo Kangaroo. They're a, they're a dance kids group on our stage. They're hilarious. We're going to do like a month, and then the record will be out. And then I'm working on a hip-hop puppet show with Rapping Robots, which we're, we've been working that, on that for a while, but we're trying to launch it next year. And um, we got Weird Al Yankovic. He's going to be in the pilot, and he's my dude. He's oh, been cool. supporting me for a minute. and There's a lot of exciting stuff happening. So Warp Tour is awesome because it opens doors, you know. For sure. I, I, it's my favorite festival. It's our third summer on it, and I'll keep coming back. As Kevin, if Kevin asks me, I'll do it. I'll drop everything. Right. Because it's right. my favorite. <laughs> yeah, definitely. I mean, you know, it's such a unique, unique experience. You got all those kids out there, so many bands, and it turns you on to so many different fans that you might not have had. You know. What I mean? Yeah, in different genres, and you just—it's kind of like it's like they say, punk rock summer camp, and it is. I make you make friends with everyone in different genres. Genres and I love it. I just it's dope. For you sure. feel me. You feel yeah, me. Definitely, man. Let's talk more about this hip hop puppet show you got coming out. High five. Thanks for bringing it up. Yeah, so there's four robots. They all represent different elements of hip-hop culture. They travel through time. They meet people from history and then learn about uh, how like certain cultural artifacts from the past relate to hip-hop now. So they'll meet Shakespeare and learn about rhyme or meet Picasso and learn about graffiti art or whatever. You That's know what I'm saying? Cool. Yeah, <laughs> Thanks, man. Sure. Thanks, man. What are we going to see that? What do you think? More like Adult Swim or Nickelodeon? Or, uh, what, do you, what do you got going on? Yeah, the dream. I mean, I would love to have it on like a Nickelodeon or, or a mainstream kids network. We'll see though, you know, sky's the limit. Maybe it'll end up on Netflix. Maybe it'll be, uh, I don't know. It, we'll see. We're, the thing, the cool thing now about entertainment is that there's so much, for kids, kids have so much access to yeah, information. So sure. I'm hoping we'll get it on one of the cable networks, but I'll keep everyone posted. MCLars.com. Definitely. Well, I mean, you gotta think about it. The Aquabats started out with that. They had the Aquabat show and Yo Gabba Yo Gabba Gabba is there. So, yeah. I mean, you see how big that is, you know? I mean, that's amazing. They're a big influence. I've, I did a song with them a few years ago and they are our homies. Love the, Shout out to Aquabat. Shout out to Christian Jacobs. Very cool. Now, you just mentioned your, uh, your website. Uh, you do social media too? You do Twitter and all that? True! 
<laughs> I'm on Twitter, MC slash MC Lars, Facebook, MC Lars, Instagram, MC underscore Lars, and I'm always on the social media. Holler at me. I'll retweet your hilarious tweets. I'll retweet this interview. Definitely. Because we're the Sofa Kings. That's it, man. The Sofa King Jr. over here. That's right, that's right. <laughs> Alright, dude, I appreciate your time. I look forward to, uh, to the TV show and uh, anything Thanks, man. You coming out, dude. I'm definitely going to follow you. And, uh, You're pretty tight. Let me get here. Let me give you my information. Look at this. Passing cards. Boom. Right. That's my email and everything. Thank you very much. Peace. Have fun.